Hello everyone, Team Monster here. I'm just going to take a quick little gander at how you export models from Ducad. Recently the leak of the 2001 build has dropped and things that we never thought we'd see in our lifetime, such as Ducad, are now something you can open up and have a play with. You can see all the models that uh, we've just seen in screenshots and trailers and uh, actually have a little play with them, which is quite nice. Okay, so I'll take you through this. I've opened up Ducad, which is a bit of a trip anyway, because I never thought I'd have a working copy of Ducad on my drive. Um, when the game was released in 2011, there were no editing tools or modding tools released with it, and it very quickly died a death. Uh, now we have Ducad. It doesn't work particularly well at the moment, but it's there, and it works, and you can get some use out of it. Okay, on to the main subject. We're in Ducad. We go to View, Mesh Browser. We're in Characters at the moment. Zooms in. That's with left hand button. Right hand button chooses Rotation. So you can inspect the model. And that's all good. Okay, go to Characters mesh and I'm going to choose the Octobrain because he's one of my favorites. Okay, click on Octobrain. Now just look at that. That is a sexy bit of kit. It really is. I saw these in the, the trailers and in screenshots and thought this is amazing. Looking at it in the flesh, not disappointed at all. Uh, they would have rocked if you'd been able to play this back in uh, 2003 or 2004. I mean, assuming they take a couple of years to get the thing out. I'm, I'm impressed by this. It's a lovely piece of work. Uh, even for the time period. Accounting for the time period. This is damn nice. Okay. So, we have a little edit button here. Click that. It comes up here with Octobrain, Octobrain CPJ. You just double check because sometimes I've seen it where this comes up with strange stuff. There may possibly be a memory leak in this. Uh, so, uh, and it's come up with weird things before. Like I had poker chips come up here, but it says Octobrain there. So, eh, one of those things, unfortunately. Right, now in here you will see default config geometry, which is obviously the mesh uh, surface, which is going to be the skins, LOD data, skeleton and various death animations, idle animations, um, they're all part of this CPJ file. So theoretically, by exporting this, you've got the entire kit so that uh, you have everything you need for the model, including all the animations, all the meshes, everything else, LOD data, the whole thing with it. Uh, at the moment, just the mesh works, but that's fun to have anyway. So, okay, click on Octobrain CPJ, right hand click, export, comes up with Cannibal Project, Cannibal Project CPJ. I've come up a couple of levels so that I can just easily find it again. Hit save. Okay, we close the mesh editor, now we go to view, we go to texture browser, and we're just going to scroll down here. And here we have the Octobrain. Now one thing I've noticed is that these will turn up if you've opened the mesh in the mesh editor. If not, these won't turn up. So this is you do this step after the first one because this way you'll be able to actually export them. Export to PCX. And that's where we have that. Even though it says PCX, it exports it to a BMP, but hey, <laughs> it works. <laughs> okay, this is the plugin for Blender by uh, Pazu or Patwork, as he's called. Uh, at the moment, it only imports the mesh. I'm hoping that either Patwork or some other person will hit a, a more capable importer and exporter. That could change in time. So, normal thing, you go to code, 
download zip down it comes uh, in blender you can uh, unzip it and chuck the stuff into the correct directory or you can install it from the zip file directly and then you just enable it okay so we launch blender delete everything in there go to preferences yep cpj uh import export cannibal project at the moment it's just import but hey cannibal project format that is ticked so off we go to file we go to import cannibal project and here is octobrain cpj Oh, 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 and there he is. Again, he's not animated, he doesn't have bones, and somewhat depressingly, coming into here, there are no vertex groups either, so you can't fudge the bones and get it to re import. But uh, as I said, this is a pretty good start. Click on here. Now if you go to materials, you'll see there are several different materials in here. So each one corresponds to a different skin. Now unlike a lot of things, you can actually have multiple materials on one skin, which is fairly advanced for the time. So we'll go to shading. Go to the Materials tab, Characters Octobrain RC, Use Nodes, Add, Texture, Image Texture, Open. Again, we want to go back to where we were, which is in here. Now, one thing is that the actual name of the material corresponds to the name of the skin which is very handy so octobrain rc bmp octobrain rc bingo and then link that color node up to base color and there we are copy that Go to RCBMP, use nodes, click, control V, link it in. So we click on that, on arc to head RC, and there's that. And just go through and add all the different skins as required. That should be all of it. The pink is going to be alpha. So that on these areas here, the pink area will register as alpha. Same on here. That's it. Right hand click, change smooth. And that's your octobrain. Come back to layout. Click on the viewport shading option. And there we go all in blender and again hopefully soon to come we'll be rigging and skinning and all sorts of other good stuff like that right thanks so much thanks for listening and have a good day bye bye